Hi guys, it is April from Getting Hooker With It. I am here to share my fall TBR. Ooh. I could not be more excited that it's fall. I really couldn't. It's September now and I'm so there for that. I really need to paint my nails to get those in order. Some sort of autumnal color. I'm just so ready for the sweaters and the red lipstick and all of the pumpkin everything. I'm just ready and I'm also ready for some wonderful books um, that I really want to read this fall. Some of them have a little bit of like a haunting vibe to them and then I've got a lot of historical fiction which I didn't really expect from myself at this time of year but I really I read a lot of thrillers this summer as you guys know so um yeah you're gonna see a lot of um gothic and also historical so let us begin I'm gonna start with the book that I just recently was sent from Penguin Random House Canada I am beyond excited beyond this is Transcription by Kate Atkinson. This um, is coming out, I think, the 21st of September, and it sounds brilliant. This is about a female spy in England. She is working undercover to learn about the comings and goings of British fascist sympathizers, um, which is quite terrifying. Very, very terrifying. Um, so it kind of goes back and forward between World War II when she's working as a spy and then 10 years later she is now a radio, radio producer at BBC um, and then figures from her past um, come back into her life. I can't even tell you how excited I am to read this. I um, am going to be reading Life After Life that is a book that I really want to read in September. Uh, I had it on my shelves for like a whole year and it was, was calling out to me. I would be very surprised if I didn't also read this book this fall because it just sounds wonderful. And I started the first few pages, which starts out with her being hit by a car. So, I, I mean, it just sounds so good. I'm I'm beyond excited. So thank you so much to Penguin Random House Canada for sending this my way. Um, yeah, so that's like number one, essentially, on my fall TBR. Um, I would also really like to finally get to The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. I think this movie has already come out in theaters and I think I've probably missed the boat on seeing it in theaters. But this is about a, a home that is haunted. We follow a doctor who is coming to this home called Hundreds Hall. He actually lived close by when he was a child and has visited Hundreds Hall in the past. I believe his mother was um, one of the servants there. And he is going back to a Hundreds Hall that is very unlike his childhood uh, memory. It's kind of dilapidated at this point. There are three people living there now, a mother and her children, their adult children. Um, the the son has been injured in war um, and this doctor is there to aid the people that live at Hundreds Hall and it sounds like there is a ghost. Sarah Waters is so gothic literature. I just I really enjoy her writing so I'm really hoping that I get to this one soon. This would be perfect for October of course so that's another one I'd really like to read. And then there is something about Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng that has made me really want to pick it up. Um, I found this at a Value Village uh, a couple, a few weeks ago now, and it's I've been thinking about it ever since. This is about a neighborhood that is kind of on the up and up. It, everyone in this neighborhood is doing well for themselves. <clears throat> And um, we follow someone who's lived in the neighborhood for 
years and years and years has, you know, grown accustomed to how you're supposed to live in this neighborhood. And then we follow um, a woman named Mia who is like, he, she's an artist, she's a single mom, and she moves into the neighborhood and doesn't quite fit in. Now, there is an adoption in the story of a Chinese, uh, Chinese American baby, and there's a custody battle that erupts and splits the entire neighborhood. People on either side, there's a lot of fighting. It just sounds wonderful, and I'm really eager to pick this up. So that is another one I'd really like to read this fall. I would also like to read Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. This is a true crime story about a murder that happened in 1981, and we are trying to learn whether it's murder or self-defense. This takes place in the Old South, and I am very eager for this. The writing style, I, I read just the first few pages of this, the writing style, it reads like fiction, which is very difficult to do when you're writing nonfiction. So I am thrilled. I'm really hoping to pick this one up as well. Um, another book that I received from publishers, this one was from Simon & Schuster. It's Kate Morton's The Clockmaker's Daughter. This is another story about shots ringing out and then piecing the puzzle of this mystery together. So this is about a group of artists that go and stay at this lovely estate for a summer, I believe. They stay there and I think they're hoping to create some art while they're there. Sadly, one night, shots ring out, one woman is dead and one woman is missing and you piece together what happened. This again flashes back and forwards in time and it's Morton's new one and I just, I have to read it. So that's another good one. We've got a lot of arcs here actually, which is never a bad thing. This is the chunker. And when I say chunker, I mean, this is like nearly 600 pages. I'm scared, but I also have been thinking about this one for so long. Kate Moss's The Burning Chambers. This is supposed to be a kind of Romeo and Juliet love story. Now, I don't do romance. However, apparently it's very well done in this book. Um, this takes place in France, 1562. This is about religion and war and love and finding a love story within it. Um, apparently there are secret passages and everything and Simon of Savage Reads really highly recommended this book. Um, and so naturally I needed it in my life. So I really want to read this. It just, there's something about this that really does feel like fall to me. I think because it goes so far back in time. Does that make any sense to anybody but myself? The 1500s, there's something dark about that time period. And so anyway, fingers crossed it's a good one because oh because this is a trilogy it's the first in a trilogy and I don't think we're getting the second book in the trilogy anytime soon I don't think uh but if I like it then I'll know that the story continues so yes last book in the series is The Boy at the Keyhole by Stephen Giles this is already out. It just came out in September. And this is about uh, a young boy who lives in this lovely estate in Cornwall, England. His mother has kind of just vanished from his life. She up and left without saying goodbye. And he's being taken care of by the housekeeper. And he starts to suspect that his mother didn't just leave of her own accord that she was actually murdered and she was actually murdered by the housekeeper the woman who's taking care of him it it sounds absolutely scary i just have to read this little bit for, for you to give you a sense of the dread that i feel like is going to be throughout this whole book samuel looked down at his plate scrambled eggs and two sausages wondering if a murderer could have made his favorite breakfast. Wasn't that a kind thing to do and very unlike a killer? But then he thought that in the whole history of the world, there must have been plenty of fine cooks who had murdered people and hidden 
their bodies. You've hardly touched your eggs. Ruth plunged the mop into a bucket and swished it about. Aren't you hungry? <laughs> so excited. So those are the books that I like really want to read this fall. Let me know in the comments below. Is there a book in particular that you are particularly excited about reading this fall or a book that kind of screams fall to you? I would love to know and I will talk with you soon. Happy reading. Bye guys.